Embrace any family. As y'all know, today is Knowledge Thursday. So we're gonna talk about uh, uh, oxygen to the brain, causes and effects it has is um, you being a good studier or a better studier. And you could use studying for school or you could do studying for the advancement of civilization, anything you want. So it's not just for school, but so you should always keep your brain active and healthy. After further research, they say the best times to study. And I think even for myself, this is very true. 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. Your brain is at a 100% functioning rate. And 6 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. Between those times, you're about at 50%. And actually, the, the, the nighttime is maybe a little bit more dangerous because it's only at 20%. So, I mean, if, if you're doing something productive, I think it's good for your brain. But if you're just hanging out, smoking and talking, and sipping and pipping, then you're probably gonna have a, a it's gonna have an effect on your brain later on in life or within within time. For more for more oxygen to the brain, so practice breathing exercises. Uh, do regular prayer and meditation. Drink in eight to ten glasses of water daily and have a balanced diet. Like we like we discussed, 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. The brain function is at 100%. Should be probably your most productive study times. It's good to get a good eight, uh, eight hours of sleep or at minimum six hours of sleep. I mean, honestly, for me, I could do like three or four and I'm good, but I gotta be doing something productive. You know, I, I'm not just smoking and choking and joking and playing like, you know? So. Uh, more suggestions for more oxygen to the brain. Do, uh, like I said, the breathing exercises in the morning and then in the evening for 20 minutes. Eight to 10 glasses of, of water regular prayers and meditation, and that balanced diet. And nutrition for the brain, uh, protein, calcium, omega-3, B-complex, uh, honey, bee pollen, and gecko biloba. So you can research those things to see, but all those things uh, make your brain more powerful. It's a good time to study at night, like you said, because of those, your, your brain functionality is at its, at its peak. Uh, there's more peace and quiet, fewer distractions and interruptions, a clearer mind for creative thinking, and it can help you improve recall. So as y'all know, I've been doing the nightcap, so along with uh, sleep and good sleep, I have some just suggestions for you that you could use to get better sleep, especially the night before an exam, if you guys, you know, a lot of y'all are in school and stuff. So this one always works for me, like positive imagery, like, it's times where I couldn't sleep, like not recently, but in life. And I would just think of myself like running through like a dandelion field, a whole bunch of flowers, like <laughs> so lit, like, and I would just, next thing I know, I'm, I'm up in the morning like, oh, that worked. Like, so positive Im imagery, spend time visualizing a positive exam experience, or like I said, a field, whatever makes you happy, flowers, anything. Uh, this will increase your confidence, help with nerves, and enhance your mood. 
uh, using your best performance to move forward. So think about a previous good performance. We we'll hope you do well that time and how will you apply that tomorrow or the next time you take a, an exam. Your preparation, boost your confidence by reminding yourself of how well you have prepared and how much revision you have done. Revision is good, like revise, revise, revise. Like anything you wanna keep within yourself, you gotta continuously revise it until it's finally just stuck in there, you know? Uh, focus on you, focus on yourself, and don't compare yourself to others, as this will make you feel stressed. Instead, focus on what you can control. You know, we always talk about that. Uh, the challenge, if, if, if you see the exam as a threat, it will make you stressed. View the exam as an opportunity or as a challenge. This will make you feel better. Overcoming setback, setbacks. Remind yourself how you overcame previous setbacks. This will be help to help you deal with future challenges and, and build mental resilience. So always remind yourself how you be, overcame previous setbacks. And this builds mental resilience. And always get a good night's sleep, right? So I always tell you I sleep peacefully when I do the nightcap because, I mean, that really means something. A good night's sleep helps improve creativity, problem solving, concentration, and memory. This is more important than last minute cramming. So as y'all know, it's now this Thursday head out, do some packages, even though it's a little gloomy, boomy, it's still a day, we're still here, keep it going, love y'all.